Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're discussing how you can install and run Kali Linux on Oracle VirtualBox. So this would really affect how we'll do all the upcoming cybersecurity tutorials. And I'm really excited to get started on Kali Linux 2020 so that we can look at some of the new software that comes with it and think about the different ways of doing the vulnerability testing, especially with the latest version of Kali Linux. So without further ado, let's get started on today's tutorial. So what we have here is a Windows 10 running and you can open up any of your favorite browser. So in this case, I will open up Chrome. So it could be Firefox or Internet Explorer. And I can go into google.com and I can enter my favorite operating system called a Linux ISO. And we can go into the official colonix.org page. So it's by offensive security. And of course, you can choose to install the 64-bit installer, 32-bit, and so on. So what we will choose and what we will select is actually the VirtualBox 64-bit. And we can go into the Offensive Security VM download page. So once we're in here, we can actually download it directly. So we can open up the VirtualBox images and we can select the 64-bit OVA. So we can click on that. So this will allow us to download it into the download page. So we'll click save. So there will be an OVA file. It is about 3.1 gigabytes. So it will take some time for the download to complete. So go ahead, grab a cup of coffee or grab a sandwich and come back in 30 minutes time. So we have completed the download of the OVA file and you can actually click on it. And once you click on it, it will automatically be imported into your Oracle Virtual Box Manager. And you can actually see the virtual system information over here. And we can have the DVD, sound card, and so on. And of course, you can reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards too. And of course, all this information will really help, especially in terms of setting up the Color Linux box. And we can go ahead and click Import. And of course, here we have the software license agreement that we have to agree with. So we can go ahead and click agree on that. And of course, once we have all this information being imported, it will take about a minute, maybe two minutes, three minutes. And if you're using a hot disk drive, it could take all the way up to a couple of hours. So once we have done importing the virtual disk image, we'll be really, really excited to get started on Kali Linux 2020. Now the import is completed and we can go into Kali Linux 2020. And we can click under settings so we can click under general and we see that we are using a 64-bit Debian and you can look at the advanced so we have a shared clipboard drag and drop and of course they also put in the description so we can see the username and password is Kali and Kali so we will not enable encryption at all so system wise we have a base memory or 248 megabyte and we have a processor of LS2 processor so that will really help speed things up and in terms of display, we got a video memory of 128 megabyte. And of course, one count of monitor and so on. Storage wise, pretty straightforward. We got a SATA on Kali Linux 2020. And of course, I've disabled audio because I don't really want to enable audio on my virtual machines. And network wise, we're using bridge adapter. So we'll get an independent IP address coming from the DHCP list. Serial pods I'm not using and USB I have to select 1.1 because my motherboard is for 1.1. So it depends on what kind of setup you have for your motherboard. So chances are you may be using 2.0 or 3.0 depending on what's available in terms of the USB controller. Shared folder we have nothing. User interface pretty much standard on this. So once we're okay, we're good to go, go ahead and click start. So I'm really excited because we'll be moving all of our tutorials into Kali Linux 2020. And this is going to be a great deal for us because it will really be helpful in terms of setting up new tutorials, new cybersecurity learnings for you. So now we are loading into Kali Linux 2020 and we are loading it, booting up. Very nice boot up interface now that we can see over there. And we'll be prompt for the username and password. So go ahead and enter Kali for the username and password. Login. And of course, let's see what we get over here. So we see a lot of details. It's a little small. So let's see whether we can maximize it and see more things. Yes, we do. And we can see it's a very, very nice, very different graphical user interface. Everything looks a lot sharper. Very nice. I really like it a lot. So here we got the usual stuff, information gathering, vulnerability assessment, web application analysis, database assessment, password attacks. I think we can install a lot more database assessment too. 
wireless attacks, fern, and crack, everything is there. Better cap, definitely, we need to install that too. Reverse engineering, I think there's a lot more things we can put in. Really excited. So there you see it, how quickly we could actually get Kali Linux 2020 installed into Oracle VirtualBox. So this would really help us get ready for 2020 and be able to do all our cybersecurity tutorials with this new operating system. I'm really excited to start sharing with you more about cybersecurity with this new operating system. So I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.